All righty, folks. Greetings again. And as I get to go next to you, I'm going to be talking about a video that uh, I've been requested on my channel to talk about. So the topic is, voila, we're talking about Sonic, the gay little furry gerbil guy he is. We're going to be talking about not how cool he is, because that's obviously not true. We're going to be talking about how much this guy sucks. For starters, you have a cheap ripoff of Mario, pal. For crying out loud, sake of trying to rip Mario off, but by having a stupid thing like you, you obviously think a blue little rat's gonna beat Mario, one of the greatest video games of all time and in history. Sure, I'll admit, you gotta admit that Mario's not the greatest thing ever, but for crying out loud, it's one of the most successful games, for crying out loud. I mean, for jeez, I mean, boss who behind all this is a god freaking genius. Top that, you piece of shit. And another thing, he's not a cheap, poorly designed piece of crap like you. I mean, for crying out loud, isn't Sapon Sonic supposed to be fested in the speed of sound and all that shit? Well, look at them legs! Do those look like the legs of a so-called super Sonic person would be? Hell no! Don't you think your legs would be mighty big and bulky? But oh, apparently not. Your legs are so flimsy and you're so weak, you got legs the size of toothpicks. And same goes for your arms. How do you even get out of bed in the morning without tripping over your own goddamn self? And look at your big ass shoes. They're bigger than my head. Jeez, how can you run super fast and not even trip over a little block that gets in your way? For crying out loud. And here, let's see. We'll talk about how he's a ripoff compared to Mario in Sonic. First, Mario has uh, here below a little power source to make you all super f strong, fast, and blah, 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 and invincible. And then here, Sonic has stupid little, what are they called, chaos emeralds? Stupid little shiny rocks that make him super strong, but not invincible. They were the fail right there. For crying out loud. Stupid shiny rocks. And you need seven of them just to get that kind of power, and then you don't even get granted the power of invisibility. To which I would like to, to add epic fail, pal. Dumbasses. And another thing. Another thing that gets annoying. People seeing how uh, Mario and Green Mario are on drugs. Those who keep saying that and all that stuff, get over it for crying out loud, you damn drug abusers. Those who keep say making that joke about you guys, you guys are probably drug dealers yourself, so lay off, you idiots. It's better than being Sonic. In order to get super powered and all that stuff, he has to be freaking literally stoned to death. So there. Uh, let's see now. What's another ripoff? Oh, okay, how about this? You got Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. But then what happens? Here they come, making a Sonic Colors game, where Sonic is running around in the galaxy, trying to save these little stupid alien freaks called Wisps, or what the fuck? Yeah, that's totally not a rip off my ass, pal! And speaking of which, that game is a fail, because apparently, the people at Sega got... had completely lost their minds in something, and decided to... Oh, let's go change all the voices of Sonic to rip off Nintendo, and Rope totally beat it by doing that! And that's a fail, because apparently that's something that you'll never, ever, ever see happen to Nintendo because we're not stupid like you guys. And oh, you guys decided to change all of their voices except for that stupid Tubby Sir Exilot man? Why not? You go to the trouble of changing this guy, and now he sounds like uh, even more of a cocky smartass than ever. And that Tails guy sounds even more dumb and gay. I can't stand him even more now. Sure, you have to admit though, back in the day of the uh, Nintendo 64, Green Re Mario here, his voice was apparently lower, but it's done by the same guy, and I don't know why they had it done back then, but it was fitting in, during those days. And our beloved King's Bowser had different, uh, he sounded different until then, and it still broke then. You never get beat that, pal. So cry it out loud, here's one thing. Mario's games are not always the same. I mean, so, so you, you play as Mario trying to save the princess and la da la la, but for crying out loud, you have a bazillion of games and series and all that crap. And Sonic gives us the same thing. You're always running from like a first person view. You're running, running, running from hell who knows what. It's down these stupid gay ass tracks, doing cute little tricks in your stupid little games, grinding on random rails. What are you, a skateboard fanatic now, you drug lord? For crying out loud. And then let's see. Oh, here's one thing. The, one of the most famous Mario Kart franchises is Mario Kart. Oh, and then after a few years of doing that, you bastards decide to rip them off and have, uh, what is it called, Sega All-Stars Racing? What's wrong? You're so dumb and lazy, you're too lazy to actually try running around and racing Mario instead of using, and using stupid pretty boy carts and trying to rip them off again for crying out loud. It's like you guys are on a death mission to rip Nintendo off. Well, that'll never happen. For crying out loud, 
You can use the exercise, Stubby. I mean, look at them legs. They're a joke. Jeez, for crying out loud. And for crying, for the love of God, that stupid tubby sir, that man, what does he want to do? He wants to make a stupid, uh, planet into an amusement park of himself? Good Christ, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. You've got to be pretty damn self-obsessed with yourself if you want to make an entire planet out of an amusement park down your ugly fat ass. Good crying out loud, Bowser wants to rule the world. And trust me, doesn't that seem more appealing? I mean, come on, but he's making a stupid thing of yourself or whatever. Oh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? How else are you ever buff? Oh, well, I know some people like Sonic better than Mario. Some people like Mario better than Sonic. Some people like both. But, you see, now I'm a part of Nintendo. I hate Sonic bursts of passion. All of us do, for crying out loud. You little damn bastard. And here's another thing that I just find amazing. You got uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, the first game. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Uh, and now, you're gonna have Mario and Sonic at the 2012 London Olympic Games. And even though those games are both made by Sonic, uh, by Sega and Nintendo, oh, Sega thinks that they deserve all the credit just because it was uh, developed by then. But hey, Nintendo published it, or had something to do with it. But you, because you bastards don't get all the credit, so screw you people. And that pretty, pretty much brings me up to date, because I'm not gonna be geeking out from this thing, son, from square one. Apparently, Nintendo has, from what I hear, bought the rights to own Sega. So, after all those years of fighting over Mario and Sonic, who wins that war? Not you, Sega. You're gay as hell. You fail. You are now bought by the owners of Nintendo because you all suck. I don't know why the hell they'd want to buy you guys, but whatever. They're going to make you guys suck and fail and all that shit. So, Nintendo wins that war. So, screw you people and all you do. No complaining. Oh, and I bet you people are going to try ripping Nintendo off again and try to run half like a stupid Sonic game for the Wii U and all that shit. You damn moron, you're just desperate to have attention. What do you expect from a stupid ugly rat? Uh, it's better than stupid PlayStation shit. I mean, they've been ripping off the Wii by making that stupid PlayStation move. Oh, and they keep on saying how that's totally not a uh, rip off of the Wii. Whoa, my ass, pal! Go on the internet and look at a comparison, whatever the hell you call a photo, of a remote in the PS Move remote. Oh, it looks pretty much like the same thing, but except it has a stupid little giant gumball on the top of its remote. Yeah, it's not a total rip-off at all, you dumbass morons. God, I cannot stand Sony at all. I can't believe we even have a PlayStation in our house. I'm going to break it in the next 10 seconds if I keep this up. I don't know how the hell I've gotten from talking to Sonic to Gay Station, but see what you do. You make people pissed. No one likes you. I got people who don't like you. It's more than just us scummers who hate you. Mario hates you too, and all that jazz. So the hell with you. I'm done with you. We're out of you. I might, I might actually rant about this stupid PlayStation next time or something. But until then, goodbye, people. I need a coke. I need a cookie. I need a break.